Hey guys, it's Renee. So I love how long nails look on my hands. I love how they make me feel and I love all the sounds they make. Pretty ASMR. Right now I have some kiss press ons. I do have the review for this ones and they look pretty cute on the front, but sometimes they look really gross on the back. It's really gross talking about this, but I think the longer the nails and the more like grossness and just jacky stuff they gather at the back of them. And if you don't really clean them, the dirt is gonna become harder to remove. So what I do and what I recommend you doing is clean them with some like Q-tips, water and some soap. And this is for when you eat something easy to remove. But if you have like stuff and dirt and grossness gathered for a long time, this is just not going to remove it. You also can use cuticle pushers that looks like a toothpick but thicker and just remove like the dirt and gross stuff. I would recommend using a toothpick by the way. I have tried that and because it's really fine, I ended up poking myself a lot of times. But sometimes even that doesn't work because like I said, stuff has built and just dried and it's like really gross. And this one I use on my e-file and I use in this kind of like taper like bits. And this is what works for me. And this reminds me of like a dentist, like getting rid of like the jacky stuff on the fit. I don't know. But using this tape or bit, by the way, doesn't hurt your skin at all. You don't really feel it. It doesn't even tingle because this has a really soft surface to it. So it's like really gentle on your skin. Plus, I'm using like the softest or lower setting on this e-file. And this is what works best for me. I just go straight to it. Because again, I don't really make it a priority, I guess, to clean the back of my nails because I forget about it. I have this e-file, by the way, because I do my nails at home. And this one is pretty affordable. I use it all around the house, not only for nails, to like smooth many surfaces. I find it really handy to have. But I know that not everybody has it. And that's why I wanted to share the previous method. But this one is the one that works for me like all the time. Go back with my soap and water and clean it one last time. But yeah, those are the methods that I use. Hopefully you find this helpful and handy. I know it has been for me. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more nail care that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.